Welcome back to ATVN. The USC women's tennis team will look to serve their crosstown rival UCLA in a battle of top-ranked opponents this Saturday. The women of Troy turned in a dominant performance in their last match, sweeping San Diego State 7-0. However, they haven't played a tennis match since February 1st. Junior Madison Westby says the team used the extended break to their full advantage. The last two weeks we've really amped up our fitness, um, just trying to get in really good shape for the rest of the season because, you know, whenever you're having matches every weekend, you can't afford to be sore. So that's, we've been okay with having that issue this past week. Um, worked a lot on our doubles. We changed up our doubles lineup, so hopefully that will help. Um, yeah, just really working on our fitness, I think, for the past week and a half. The 22nd ranked Cho women of Troy will host the 20th ranked Bruins at Mark Stadium this Saturday at noon. The USC men's volleyball team will look to even the score against six ranked Stanford on Thursday. The Trojans were swept in three sets when the two teams faced off three weeks ago, but junior Jordan Rivera says his team is prepared to deliver a better effort this time around. Up there in Palo Alto, like our mentality wasn't where it was supposed to be, but I feel like ever since then uh, the, team has, the team has switched the mentality and now we got the weekend off and we just got our first uh, practice of the week today. We did pretty well, I believe, and we're just going to keep on working on all the small things that are going to get us forward uh, to beat Stanford this Thursday. The Trojans will host the Cardinal at the Galen Center on Thursday at 6 p.m. The USC men's swim team closes out its season with Senior Day against Utah on Saturday. But with all the Valentine's Day love spreading through the air this week, senior Reed Malone has been feeling nostalgic about the reality of swimming in his last meet for the Cardinal and Gold. It's bittersweet, definitely. I mean, uh, it's been an amazing four years, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, as cliche as that sounds. But, uh, you know, it's sad. It's sad to be done. Uh, I'm never going to be on a team like this ever again, I think. So, uh, you know, but it's, uh, I'm going to embrace the moment. It'll be, it'll be a good time. The Trojans will host the Utes at the Utangzo Aquatic Center this Saturday at 11 a.m. The USC women's golf swung their way into the records books at the, Norm at the Northrop Grumman Regional Challenge this afternoon. The women of Troy claimed a one-stroke victory by shooting a tournament record four over par, but this is the second time USC has won this tournament, their first since 2014. The women of Troy will be back in action on February 27th at the Bruin Wave Invitational. The USC baseball teams open up its season against Copeland State this Saturday. I'm here with my very own Nathan Desai to preview their season. Nathan, thanks for joining you. How are the Trojans looking to heading into this year? Well, Terrence, we all know that the USC baseball team is one of the strongest in the country. You know, you got MLB legends like Mark McGuire and Randy Johnson, who all came out of SC, but USC is coming off a bit of an underwhelming season. You know, two years ago, they made it back to the NCAA postseason, but now they're coming off a 500 season and do you know how many players the Trojans have lost in the offseason? No. Tell Dude, me. 15 players left the team. That, you can almost make two full teams with that many players, you know. But head coach Dan Hubbs is confident that he, his roster will be ready to play ball this weekend. You know, we got a lot of new guys this year. And, and so it'll be a lot of different faces that are in the lineup and on the mound. And it's a chance for guys to get uh, a chance to get out there and show what they can do. But I think our guys are primed and ready. So... Our goal is to try and be the best team on Friday, and then we'll worry about Saturday when it comes, rather than look at the whole picture. Well, I know a lot of the guys are gone, but who are some of the key returning studs for the Trojan team? Well, I'd say the two guys you got to keep your eye on are second baseman Frankie Rios and pitcher Brad Wegman. You know, Rios, you're not going to see him hit many balls out of the park, but he has a knack for getting on base. He's a great contact hitter. And then if you look at Wegman, USC lost its top three starters from last, scene, from last year's team. And Helms is going to be looking at Wegman to kind of step up and take their spot this season. So you touched on some of those grizzled veterans, but what are some key fresh faces for the new Trojan roster? Well, when you talk about the new guys, you got to look at this guy, Blake Sabol. Man, this guy was dra actually drafted by the Cleveland Indians in 2016, but he chose to actually come to SC and play college ball here instead. And if you look at Matthew Acosta, he's trying to make an impact on both sides of the ball as he looks to make his mark both on the mound and at the plate. Thank you so much for that, Nathan. Don't forget, opening day will be this Saturday afternoon at Dado Field. And in case you need more incentives to go, the first 500 fans will also be getting free t-shirts. Back to you, Juliet and Brad.